All right, so what are we talking about? We're talking about Prey, the new Predator prequel coming to Hulu on August 5th, and why I am both excited and terrified about it at the same time. So let's just watch the trailer here, which I think is great, and then we'll come back and discuss it here. So I'll just turn off this camera here. Why do you want to hunt? Because you all think that I can't. I saw a sign in the sky. I'm ready. My only Nita. There's something out there. I'm coming with you. You can't. I'm trying to protect you. Protect me from what? <laughs> it's time. So there we are. There's the trailer. And uh, so here's the thing I like about it. I, I love the fact that it's going prequel. The first time the Predator has visited Earth. Great. Love that it's going Native American. It ties not only into, obviously, the time period, but then, you know, in the original Predator, there was Billy, the Native American, who seemed to have a sixth sense of the predator and cut his chest or whatever, right? So there's that connection. And in my opinion, the lead actress seems like a badass. And the greatest part of that trailer is at the end when she's screaming, oh, or whatever, right? Whatever that battle cry is. But here's what got me nervous. When I rewatched it a couple times, so... um Here, here's here's what I'm worried about. I'm worried about another Captain Marvel esque uh, type movie. So let's just here, here's what I'm talking about. Here, here we go. Let's just everyone knows what the problems with Captain Marvel were. First memory is of her friend preparing to fly with her, and she says this. Not to show these boys how we do it. You go, girl. We then see a moment in Plank's history where a mean boy told her she should go slower while turning corners, and thus she speeds up, only to crash. After that, her dad tells her she doesn't belong out there, and he shouts this at her despite the fact that she probably <laughs> needs to go to the emergency room. What a guy. Then we slam into a moment of her training for the Air Force, and a group of mean men are heckling her, ending with a man saying, they will never let you fly. Then we jump right over to another guy saying, she's a decent pilot, but she's too emotional. Finishing his sentence with, you know why they call it a cockpit, don't you? <sighs> I mean, a lot of the... So, number one, let me just say, uh, <laughs> the, the biggest joke of Captain Marvel was saying, oh, you're too emotional. She barely displayed any emotion in the movie. That's why part of her acting was terrible, but... Okay, so here, here's what got me nervous. 
So wait, wait. So obviously, if you're going into a prequel and in, back into uh, Native American society, there, there's going to be the question of answer, like, well, why would this woman be a hunter, right? So there is the question that needs to be answered of, hey, you're supposed to be back at the camp. What, what, what's going on here? But then we get this first line, huh? Why do you want to hunt? Oops. Because you all think that I can't. Okay. Hmm. That's kind of worrisome. Because you all think that I can't. Meaning, you think women can't do it? Mm. All right. Hopefully that's not the ultimate angle they're going for. It's just in the, in the trailer. But then, then we get this line after that. I'm coming with you. You can't. I'm trying to protect you. Protect me from what? Okay. So now I've got two lines. Why do you want to hunt? Because you all think I can't. And then I'm coming with you. You can't. I'm trying to protect you. From what? Now, this can all still work in the movie, right? What you got to do is you establish, um, you know, that this protagonist which there can be a badass female protagonist we've got aliens alien alien 3 and alien resurrection sigourney weaver ellen ripley wasn't written as a woman but was cast as a woman and it worked right sarah connor and terminator there's no problem with the female being a badass there's no problem with this person and i already believe she's a badass right what i don't want to see is in this movie she she could want to hunt everyone's just like no no hey it's a man's job it's a man's world whatever right and then she wants to go on I'll go on hunt go on to find the thing because she's uh my friend Dwayne believes she's been tagged by the predator very good reason that the predator would be following her and interacting with her and they could say no you got to stay here you got to protect the village you got to protect the women and the children that would work right if they're going to go with the line, like I said, of something like, you know, no, you're a female. Get back in the wigwam. Start cleaning the loincloths and making me some dinner. I hope that's not the case. And, and I hope because they could they could easily set it up right for the female protagonist to be the smarter hunter. Right. She even says in it. He knows how to hunt. I know how to survive. She can outwit the predator, right? You, you can easily incorporate that. The male hunters go out, the warriors go out, and they get slaughtered because they're just going gung ho, woo, or whatever. Like they showed in the, where they're all in a line, right? Charging forward, and they just get wiped out, right? But she can defeat him because she's sneakier. She's smarter. Totally fine with that. But if they, are idiots and just male chauvinist dicks that's just just don't make the movie just just stop because it doesn't work you're just destroying intellectual property that we all love in some if if the if the audience or if if you ever watch a movie and then the, you get the feeling the director's like hey do you get it do you get to get the message and it's like yeah we get it it's obvious it's not subtle at all you're not being clever right that's when you know that the writer is not really interested in the storyline or anything he's just interested in putting forth a message and the message to him is more important than the movie which should never be the case the movie should work in service of the story which is seamless okay um, but yeah, let's just go to my favorite part again. Oh, and I'll give an exception. Obviously, there's going to be some kind of. It knows how to hunt. I know how to survive. Oh, that's yeah, that's badass, right? When she's got it wrapped around her wrist, so she throws it and then she can retrieve it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Right. But then we got these fur traders here. 
there's obviously going to be some kind of kidnappy, rapey scene or something, right? And they're all going to get toasted. No problem with that. Yeah. Hopefully they're French. But this would also uh, agree with my man Dwayne's theory that she's somehow tagged. So that when they capture her, he's coming after her. Um for some reason hopefully it's better than the reason in alien vs predator where she picked up the weapon out of the thing and is like i'm just gonna throw my backpack and then he can't defeat the aliens i, I mean there have been so many bad adaptations of the predator it just 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 please stop unless you can make a good movie but yeah these guys do the kidnappy, rapey thing. They're, they're obviously gonna die. All right, I'm gonna turn my camera off. Here's here's the best part. Here we go. Not here, but. Whatever did this, I can kill it. Ah, uh, yeah, right there. Oh, wow. Perfect. All right. So hopefully I'm completely wrong and it's a hundred percent great and we will see. All right. But, uh, if I'm wrong, we just need to get people to stop taking stuff from, uh, remaking sequels and stuff from yesteryear because we just don't need it. All right. We don't need the hammering of this dumb message when you could have easily made it an incredible story. Thank you.